Oil and gas drilling operations in the Gulf of Mexico are having a larger impact on climate change than previously thought. The study, which was published earlier this month, found offshore operations released twice as much methane as estimated in previous studies. And this comes as the U.S. looks to expand operations in the region, with oil companies offering more than $200 million at an auction for drilling rights in the federal waters last month. So for more on the study, I want to bring in co-author Eric Court. He's an associate professor in climate space sciences, space sciences and engineering at the University of Michigan. So, I mean... This is depressing to hear this, but we've got to face the truth. Eric, the study found not all drilling operations are emitting larger amounts of methane. So tell us about that. Yes, well, thank you for having me. Um, and yes, I recognize often this news might, <laughs> might appear not good on its face, but as you ask there, it wasn't uniform across the Gulf of Mexico. And I think that can be a message for good news, which is to say, we did see elevated emissions compared to what is reported. Uh, but this was really concentrated in a small class of platforms in shallow waters, which is to say it isn't all operations in the Gulf of Mexico that lead to elevated climate impact. So what are some of the other uh, key findings that you discovered? Because this is, a, as Emory says, a fascinating study. Yeah, so we went out and actually used aircraft instrumented with the ability to measure carbon dioxide and methane to actually quantify emissions coming off of platforms. And platforms in the Gulf of Mexico range from very shallow water platforms that can date back from the 1970s to very ultra deep, very sophisticated modern platforms. So there's a real range of technology out there. Um, we decided to sample all of this, this range of facilities and try to quantify what do the emissions actually look like compared to what is actually reported. And so could you say the older ones, I mean, is it, was there a rule of thumb that the older the technology, the more emissions or not necessarily? Uh, the rule of thumb was the shallow water was where the worst emissions were. Oh. So that tends to correlate with older platforms. Um, and it tends to be concentrated around what we would call these shallow uh, central hub facilities, which have a lot of small satellite wells around them where they draw the, those uh, oil and gas into for, for processing and send it onshore. Okay. So uh, how will these findings help policymakers moving forward? And I guess the question yes. for those policymakers is what kind of buy-in do you need? Because and nothing gets done in Washington these days, especially when policymakers are fractured on whether or not they even believe that climate science is a real thing? Yes, that's an excellent question. Uh, my answer will not answer all of it. Uh, <laughs> the, you know, the information we provide really shows that if we proceed with operations in shallow water as we have, the climate impact is much larger than it needs to be. Uh, as is shown by operations in other parts of the Gulf, we can produce oil and gas uh, with much less climate impact than we currently are. So there are different pathways that we could take, right? These emissions could be mitigated by changing from venting to flaring and actually burning the gas, uh, repairing or refurbishing old equipment that's not working well, or decommissioning. Uh, all of this can be done in, in different approaches. Uh, and there are different tactics that could be taken to, to encourage this. Uh, as expanded operations happen in the Gulf, uh, if we push it in a direction where we can lessen the methane emissions, we can greatly lessen the climate impacts. So as you know, the Biden administration passed the, um, the Inflation Reduction Act, and there's, you know, there are stipulations in there that will help to fund clean energy and that sort of thing moving forward. Um, in this case, we're not actually talking about clean energy, but I guess a cleaner way of getting this energy. Um, what can the Biden administration do and other world leaders do um, to have an impact? Yeah, I, personally, I think one of the biggest things is the reason we know these emissions are high is because we went and made measurements. And that's crucial for methane, which is hard to inventory. It, it's important to actually go and make measurements. So measurements like this can identify where there's problems, in incentivize solutions to reduce those emissions, and then follow-up measurements could be used to actually ensure emissions are as small as we would like them to be. So, so measurements can really serve as a basis for reducing and sustaining lower climate emissions. Right, you have to have an accurate picture of what's going on. Exactly right. right. Uh, Eric Court, thank you very much. Fascinating. Thank you.